it's May already, but we had a very cold late spring this year and some places still look like early March. Nothing much grows in the garden yet and our vegetable stores in the freezer are nearly gone. But no panic, there's still fresh nutritious food to be found if one looks in the right places. In one of our previous videos we showed you how we harvest seaweed. Today I use some of it in bread. Another fresh ingredient to be found in abundance at the moment are nettles. They are just about poking out of the ground, the perfect time for using the tender tips for baking. The bread recipe I will be using is from the book Extreme Greens by Sally McKenna. I made two separate batches, one with dried and ground seaweed. It's easier to chop seaweed into small pieces when it's dry. And one with chopped fresh nettles. For each batch I use 350 grams flour mixed with one sachet, that's 7 grams, of dried yeast and half a teaspoon of salt. I mix all dry ingredients. Then I add 100 ml of milk and 50 ml of water. And I knead the dough for about 10 minutes. This type of white yeast rolls made with milk is also known as blah here in Ireland, a speciality from County Waterford. The recipe is said to have been imported by the French many hundred years ago and the name blah originates from the French blanc. The dough then needs to rest for two hours. Then I knead it again. Cut it into four pieces and make small rolls. They go on a baking tray powdered with flour and get a brush of milk and a powdering of flour. Then they rest for another hour. Another bit of flour in each roll, then off into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Not sure where Tim is at the moment, but he certainly is missing out. Seaweedy. Mmm, -hmm. mm, delicious. Fresh from the oven with a bit of butter. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Happy late spring, everyone. <laughs>